Hello guys and welcome to my review of the SKS rifle for the recon class. This isn't a technical review of the weapon, I'm not going to give you all the stats, I'm just going to tell you what I think the best attachments for it are post patch and also my general thoughts on the weapon. The SKS received a significant update after the latest patch. In the patch notes we can see that it says they've reduced the recoil of the SKS rifle and they've also increased its damage at close range. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to give this thing a go and see what it's made of. So, I've played about six hours, I reckon, of Battlefield 3 since the patch was released. And primarily, I've been using this weapon. It's probably my favourite gun at the moment. I'm absolutely loving it. One of the main reasons why it's one of my favourite weapons is because it has practically zero recoil when you have a flash suppressor on it. I've tried all of the other attachments on it to check this out. The flash suppressor on its own will give you the best trade-off of accuracy, recoil and mobility. This thing is incredible with a flash suppressor on it. You can see here the ranges that I'm going to to shoot this weapon and just look at the recoil. I was at a maximum range there I would say for like using a Cobra sight and the bullet spread is still very tightly grouped together. It's very accurate, it fires quite fast and the hip fire is actually pretty good on it so I can't really see any downsides to it apart from if you take the flash suppressor of course when you shoot you're going to show up on the minimap so that adds a bit of danger but if you play cautiously and you don't run around any corners like an idiot and you pre-fire you aim all the time you're going to absolutely dominate with this weapon trust me if you can aim always go for the headshots with this thing because the zero recoil on it is absolutely brutal. If you tried the SKS out pre-patch and thought, well, that's not very good, it doesn't do enough damage, it's got insane recoil, then please go and check it out now. It's a beast. It sort of reminds me of the M14 in Day of Defeat, if any of you guys ever played that. It's a very nice weapon now. One of the best things about this weapon for me as well is finally I've got a decent semi-automatic rifle that I can play an aggressive recon with. I don't really like the M39. I think it has too much recoil. But the SKS is perfect for me. You can just stick like a Cobra sight on it or just go with the iron sights. And you can be at the front line playing the objective and it really pays off. Like I said guys, if you're a good player and you haven't looked at this weapon before, then definitely check it out post-patch. It's very good now and it's actually a viable replacement for a couple of the assault rifles in my opinion. Hope you enjoyed this little video review guys. I'm going to be bringing you more videos like this where I'm talking about the weapons post-patch and telling you guys what I think are the best combinations of attachments for specific weapons. Remember, you can go and check out my side-by-side -side patch review video if you haven't seen that already. It's very detailed and it covers the most important gameplay changes in my opinion. I hope you have a very nice day wherever in the world you are and I will see you in the next video.